I'd finished my day's work at the hospital, and I was home when a nurse came down and told me that they had an emergency up at the hospital. So I went up, took care of the emergency, and uh, then started on my way home. Now, there are two ways we could get to, my, to our home from the hospital. As you know, it was only just a few hundred feet from the hospital to our home. One was through the compound where there were no walls or anything. I just walked down a, a cement walkway and uh, to our home. The other way was out the front door and uh, then to get to our home. Uh, I walked along the side of the wall and then there was a little inlet where the wall went in and uh, there in it was kind of a, a flower field but the flowers had, weren't weren't really uh, functioning at the time <laughs> that time of year you know anyway um, they'd grown up fairly high and then I'd go in the, another door to the house that uh, bypassed the wall. Anyway, right there on the corner was a, a pole with a lamp on it. It was burning every night, always. So I came out the hospital front door, walked down the walkway, and there on the walk, under the lamp, under the light, was a leopard looking right at me. What was I to do? That was scary. Well, I had to do one of two things, obviously. I could turn around and run back to the hospital. Or I could walk, keep on going towards the leopard. Which should I do? I didn't have much time to think, obviously. But what flashed through my mind was, if I turned and started running back, he might chase me. He probably would. And he could run faster than I. <laughs> So, I'm sorry, I decided that uh, I'd better just keep on going. So, I kept going, and as I approached him, he kind of backed off, walked over into the place where all the flowers were, pretty much covered up over there. And I just kept on going. Looked around occasionally, make sure he wasn't following me, and went into the house. Short story, but exciting. <laughs> and obviously, I've lived to tell the tale. <laughs>